Hi everyone, welcome back to Lisa Loves Perfume. I'm talking about Maison 21G and I lost the clip. <laughs> but on their website, they have a plus 65 WhatsApp number, which is Singapore's country code. So potentially they're based in Singapore. I was very excited and I hope that I was able to find perfumes of this brand when I went to the store. Uh, <laughs> I'm having a bit of a shadow issue. This is where I've been recording, but today the sun seems to be at a really awkward angle for like this like a column here. So I'm trying to position myself where there isn't too much shadow. Maybe that's better. Okay, cool. <laughs> But I try not to move too much. So super excited to find where they were selling Maison 21G. And I had seen the night before that they have a rose honey fragrance. So I was very keen on that. And I hope that I would be able to find it. And I did. <laughs> this is the packaging, the seal plastic that they put items in that were purchased duty free i think it's for the security clearance this is the perfume packaging rose ritual and honey heaven eau de parfum it's like a book i'll open the plastic now wow it's stunning it's got gold accents and this is a card of info and it says here how to create your perfume so i'm guessing i would add the honey to the fragrance we'll see gorgeous packaging 21g some information at the bottom there <gasps> And it does open like a book. I wasn't sure, but it does. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh wow, it's stunning. So this is the rose and this is the honey. So I guess, I guess we could just wear the rose on its own. It's, so this is the honey. Perfume essence, they call it. Wow, that's lovely. Essence, take it there. Oh, and it's beautiful in the hand. It's quite heavy, and the cap is magnetic. I think, yeah. So this is a 30 mil. This bottle is 30 mil and this one is three mil. So this is a spray and this is a honey dropper. So it will eventually go in here. Let me see, I'm not too sure. Maybe I wouldn't be able to. I might leave that for a video specific to this perfume where I try to drop this into this. But for now, do you have something on that hand? I'm gonna spray this one. Oh, wow, quite fresh. Hmm, stunning. So I'm really, really happy. I found this, or I discovered this brand for myself, and it's quite an interesting concept. I've never had a perfume done in this way so it's quite versatile because i could wear rose ritual on its own and then also try it with the honey be interesting to see how that works out and that one that we see here was a 138 singapore dollars Next we have, and this is a little bit of a cute one, is a purchase I bought in the air. 
I was flying Air Asia from Miri to Singapore on my way back to Brisbane. I stopped in Singapore for over a day. And I was just bored. I think I'd finished my meal. And I flipped open to the page in their in-flight magazine that had a perfume. And I was like, oh, Asia sells perfume. And I guess, yeah, because Mirror to Singapore is an international flight. And I think this one is an Air Asia collaboration. So that's quite interesting that they've gone to that space. So this is a bag. It's quite crinkly. This is Santan, which is their... Then also the name on their magazine. And I think it's like their branding for their in-flight food. And this is the packaging. So, Ask by Armand, Eau de Parfum. So this is the ladies perfume. There is a men's perfume as well. They didn't have testers on the flight, so I just bought it because I don't think it was too much. It might have been 60 ringgit, which is about 20 Australian. And I thought, well, for a souvenir, oh, there it is, Ask Times Air Asia. For a souvenir of my trip, it's not much at all. So this one, when I read the notes, they had notes of cherry and wood, from what I recall. And there it is there. So it's quite good packaging in a glass bottle. I don't know anything about Armand. Is that a brand? Not sure at all. And I wore this, I believe I wore it in Singapore when I landed. Yes, when I landed and I got to the hotel and I was getting ready to go out again. I thought, well, let's just try this. And it's a little gourmand. So it's not my usual scent profile that I veer towards. But it's nice. Yeah, definitely sweet. Yeah, fruity, sweet. It actually, when I wore it, it reminded me of one of JLo's perfumes in like that blue green bottle that had this kind of shape. I forgot the name. It's something that I had quite some time ago. Yeah, this is the second purchase of the trip. Pretty good for $20. <laughs> and an interesting bottle as well of this ribbon. They've got a black cord. I think this might be Air Asia colors. And on the flight, because I had cash as well as my Malaysian debit card, I initially, I hadn't even taken the card out yet and the air stewardess said, oh, we don't take debit cards and I'm not sure if this is a Malaysian thing because I remember back like more than 10 years ago when I was also in Kuala Lumpur and trying to purchase something in a department store, they didn't want to accept debit cards whereas to me, debit is better than credit because debit, I'm using my own money as opposed to credit but they didn't want to accept debit on that flight and I didn't want to use my credit card so I ended up paying cash because I had enough cash on me at that time so if anybody knows why seems to be a Malaysian thing frankly it's a little irritating because I'm trying to use my own money and not everyone wants to carry around cash all the time right and sometimes Having change in coins is also irritating because where are the coins going to go, etc. So, right back. And the purchase that I am most excited about, I made in Singapore on my way back to Brisbane. So I actually tried this fragrance at Melbourne David Jones and 
there the price was about eight hundred dollars and so i've had that in mind that would be how much i need to purchase this perfume so either i was going to purchase it in singapore or i was going to wait for my next trip domestically to either sydney or melbourne because it's not available in brisbane so i had selected the swiss hotel in singapore because it was attached to raffle city shopping center which has the Guerlain boutique i arrived to the hotel dropped off my bags was sort of halfway through the check-in process room wasn't ready so i thought well i'm going to the mall because i'm a bit hungry walked out to the mall turned the corner and there was Guerlain. <laughs> i didn't even have to look very hard to find it and i walked in and i said oh my gosh do they have the la matier i think that's what it's called the la matier range and i could see it they have a they had it displayed all the bottles in a row sort of in the middle of the boutique i was so excited and the person who served me shout out to ezra was really lovely and I was like, well, I already know I'm going to get it. So I said, yeah, I'm just going to get it. <laughs> he spread it for me on a fan. And I was just like, yep, yep, definitely going to get it. And they have the 100 mil uh, for 550 Singapore dollars. So I'm not sure what I saw in Melbourne. Maybe that was the 200 mil price because in Singapore, the 200 mil was about 800 Singapore dollars. And I was like, there's no way I'm getting, going to buy a 200 mil because I have so many perfumes and 550 is a lot better than 800. This is the box, lovely box, Neroli Autre Noir, I hope I pronounced that right. With the B symbol, Galan, and just a bit of a logo there and that's the bottom. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a gorgeous bottle. And at the Guerlain Boutique, they have a personalization service. And I'll talk about that in a video specific to shopping at the Guerlain Boutique. And so this is customized, this is customized. And there's also an engraving of my name and a B. I don't know if you can see it might not be too visible and that was all included in the price so Neroli Autre Noir is a citrus smoked tea and when I tried it in Melbourne I could smell it on me all day I smelled it on me while I was packing in the Uber to the airport on the flight back to Brisbane and I was so in love with it it dried down into this sort of lovely creaminess and somehow this bottle so far has not done that this when i spray from this bottle it retains more of its citrusiness so that's interesting but i love it so much i opened it when i got back to brisbane and i've been wearing it ever since and it's so lovely this lovely weight to it So I'm wearing this today, so I'm just going to spray. I have been wearing it on my wrist as well. Oh wow. It definitely has that bitterness. And you can see behind it, you can definitely smell a tea note. A citrus bitter tea. It's so stunning. And I'm so, so happy that I was able to get my hands on it. But yes, I will do a video specific to shopping at Guerlain because I didn't just purchase the perfume. I did also purchase something else. So overall, perfume-wise, it's it was a fantastic trip because I got exactly what I had hoped for. And I got some pieces which I hadn't planned to get as well and that's fine it's always fun to 
find new brands. I wouldn't purchase anything I don't think that I could get in Brisbane only because having to pack and worry about the bottles and luggage it's just something that I could do without but I'm really happy with what I could get on this trip. What about you? Have you been traveling lately? And if so, did you purchase any perfumes? Please let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.